We're switching it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying, with the intro. This is your boy, Howie, Try Hip Hop Podcast. Oh, excuse me, let me re- let me run that back. Welcome to Try Hip Hop Podcast. This is boy, Howie speaking. My man, Kurt, Kurt, what's up, y'all? We got an episode, what's this, 198? 198, we're two, two ways away. from little, uh, little people, strippers, <laughs> big booties, and play money. We two yes, away. Yes, sir. We two away. Yeah, 198, man. And we need your help. We need you to find these little, you know, little, you know, little peoples. Because I don't want to say midgets, because I know that's, you know, that's, you know, politically incorrect. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I got to explain. We just want, you know, we ain't trying to get wild. We just want a couple of them, you know. I think they know who we're talking about. Yeah, just a couple of them, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Good time. How was your week, sir? My week was good. It went by really fast. I ain't going to lie to you, so I'm happy about that. Um, Whenever the work week goes by fast, I'm happy. You know what I mean? It's some slow weeks, and I just be like, man. Um, You know, but, you know, it's been a a week. You know what I mean? We had uh, some things happen, so we got a lot to talk about and unpack, but my week personally was pretty good. I can't even complain. You know, nothing to talk about. Just the average week. What about yours? Oh, uh, week was pretty good. Uh, yesterday kind of sucked because we had at my job like we had to deal with containers and stuff. Oh, okay. And usually, like what happened is they most of the time they call us and they like let's say if the if the container comes like let's say it's in port and it comes to uh, it'll come to our warehouse like it'll be on land. Yeah. Thursday. And it's like, okay, well, we can get it Monday. But nah. Like, they called the boss. And the lady like, nah, bring it Friday. I'm like, nobody ain't trying to work on no fucking Friday. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> they be trying to work, y'all. You like, trying to work like, nah, y'all get in there and y'all work this can change. <laughs> but it wasn't too bad. And, um, you know, the day before, you know, before I came through here, I mean, I'll tell you more more about that. But, you know, we'll we'll talk about that. Yes, uh, but yeah, other than that, it's been, it's been pretty chill. That's what's up, man. Well, you know, uh, as always, don't forget, hit all the buttons. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. We need funds allocated. Allocated. Allocated the funds. Yes, sir. So, we appreciate y'all tuning in every week after week. Uh, you know, this might be a quick one, man. We, we both sleepy now, man. Yeah, we, man. We on eight. Who went to the Chinese place? You know what I'm saying? They got an MSG joint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the MSG joint. Yeah, we about to knock yeah. out. Yeah. Man. I'm, but, you know, we'll be hungry in an hour, so. Yeah, you know that, that right. <laughs> That's what we do. But anyway, man, yeah, it's been a good one. Um, We appreciate y'all checking us out. Um, You know, check out all the other stuff we do. You know, our, our YouTube page has got a lot of stuff there. Yep, yep. Um, you know, we got our lyrical breakdown. We got our Lost in Thought Yeah, my segment. man just dropped the Lost in Thought that was really good about the whole uh, Slaughterhouse uh, yeah, incident. If you, I mean, not to, you know, give that away, but yeah. yeah. No, you good, man. But yeah, I mean, you know, go check that out. Um, we, we'll talk a little bit more about that later as well. But um, before we go too far, you know, we want to send our condolences. Rest in peace. Uh, the Braxton family has lost a member. Tracy Braxton passed away. I believe it was earlier today. She had esophageal cancer, um, you know, which is very tough, man. You know what I mean? Because mm. that's, you know, that's that's up in here. You mm. know? Yeah. Uh, so um, I didn't even know she was dealing with it. Apparently, they were keeping it quiet over the past year. Her husband kind of put the word out that that's what happened, that they just kept it private over the past year. And. Man, she was, you know, she wasn't even that old. She had yeah. just hit 50. Yeah, and so, young. you know what I mean? That's still young, man. A lot of y'all think that's old, but that's nah, young. That's young, dude. You know, so it's, it's kind of weird to me to hear that she passed. I'm like, she didn't come off as nobody who was, you know, sick or anything. You know, they were still doing their reality show, the Braxtons. You know, no. And so I'm, I'm, I don't know. I guess the sisters probably knew. But, um, you know, it's just sad, man. So. Um, before we go too far, we also, uh, you know, you had to attend the funeral today as well. Yeah. So for your friend, uh, yeah. So basically they put my, uh, yeah, put him to rest today. Um, 
It was really good. Uh, not to not to sound like, but yeah. I mean, it, it was, was a pretty big turnout. Yeah, right? it was a really good turnout. Standing room, just about. Uh, man, it was a it was a beautiful thing. Really, with the the young ones that go like that, usually everybody's together. Um, it was really good to see, even with everything going on, and you know they trying to divide us and all this stuff. It was really good to see black people and white people like today. You know today sitting in and actually reflecting about the good memories. I mean, I think that spoke volumes to, to you know, yeah, his character. His so character, absolutely. It was really man. good to see that. It was really good to see that. And uh, Yeah, man, rest in peace, man. I, yeah, I just hate that. I hate, I mean, for somebody like him, I hate what happened to him, uh, happened to him like that. So I'll leave it like that. Yeah, so yeah, before we go too far, let's give them a quick moment of silence just right. to pay our respects. All righty. Thank y'all for doing that with us. Yep. yep. Uh, we would also like to send some uh, prayers and well wishes. Um, DMX's youngest son, Exodus, just, you know, they just uh, released that uh, he is dealing with third, uh, stage three kidney disease. Ooh. So that's rough, man. He's only five years old. Yeah, so rough, I know that would have broke DMX down, man, uh, knowing he had to deal with that, man, if he was still here. Because DMX, man, he got a soft heart. You know, he, he he got the hard exterior, but inside, that's a baby right there, man. And knowing one of his kids was dealing with that, oh, man, I don't even think he would have been able to take that one, man. Yeah. So, um, you know, our well wishes go out to, you know, the family, all the siblings, the mother, you know, everybody, man. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I, that, that broke my heart just to hear about that, you know. I mean, you ain't but five years old and already at stage three kidney disease. My uh, my father um, dealt with kidney failure and uh, one of my brothers as well. So, and they're both passed on. So, that hits home, man. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, <clears throat> oh, real quick. I'm at the tech. I don't know if I got to share this part of, you know, my man that we went that uh, laid the rest. Not, not, I meant to add this, but. Uh, yeah. Uh. So I put a post up, you know, it was like probably about a month ago now. Okay. You know, with, with him, you know, the guy that's deceased in, in the chair. Uh -huh. And um, I think I told, I think I told you this, but I didn't tell it on here. But the raw, I think some news syndicate out of Raleigh called me and, and they wanted me to speak on him. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, mm. I said, first, let me kind of, let me, see what the family wants me to do before I speak on that. And uh but finally but what happened was they kinda they got the guy that, you know, slay him or whatnot. I don't yeah. know the two yeah. and the details. So they didn't really need me at the time. So I was honestly I was relieved because really on them type of things, it, yeah. Yeah, it could get messy. It like, can, man. It yeah, really so. can. It's a delicate slippery slope, man. So uh, look like we got somebody on um, uh, Instagram. So yeah, what's up? What's up? Appreciate what's up? you yep, joining yep. us. So, um, but yeah, so you know, it's 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 hard, man, dealing with that, man. Especially with somebody young, man. I hate yeah. to see young people, man, have to lose their life at such a tender age. So, yeah. like I said, I mean, Tracy Braxton was fifty, and I feel like that's still young. Oh yeah, facts. That's yeah. That's you know, true. we we gotta get. To the I mean, point hell, where we, we don't just accept that we're just dying off at such young ages. Yeah, you know what shit, I mean? I'm like ten. That's like ten of impossible. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Right? You know, I ain't mm -hmm. that far away. Yeah, man. And I'm closer than you. I'm two away. You know what I mean? Oh so, damn. Yeah, man. I'll be uh, 48 this year. Man. Hey, man. We want to do you like old yelling. Man. Like, <laughs> like yo, ass down. See how you do it? Yeah, you man. Gonna take me out back. <laughs> I'm gonna take you out back and put me down. Right. Yeah, you're gonna be, yeah, just look at that sign right there, Curtis. All right. And you're gonna feel some pressure. What? Why are you son of a bitch? You better not fuck around, break your leg. Right. <laughs> For real. Yeah, man. Hey, Curtis broke his leg. Right. Man, we're about to, yeah, we're about to put him down. <laughs> Sorry, gotta put you down, bro. Gotta put you down, man. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, anyway, we got a uh, question of the day um, 
that my man Howie came up with. So I'm going to have him go ahead and break that down for y'all. What's your question of the day? Okay. What MC will be in what superhero slash villain group and why? And this is uh, like one, you just pick one MC? It could be one MC okay. or actually, you know, it could be MCs. If let's say these MCs want to form a group yeah, and they want to be a group of superheroes or villains or anti-heroes or whatever they want to be. Um, yeah, mm. what... That's a hard one, man. Um, now, I tell you what, the good, the ant going to like the anti hero joint. Uh -huh. Four horsemen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see them being the anti heroes. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a hard one, man. Oh, man. I can see somebody like, like Kane being like an Iron Man type of character because he got the swag like Iron Man. You know, he got that kind of persona. So I can see him being that type, mm -hmm. um, or or even like a Batman, you know, um, but more so I think more so Iron Man for King. I would put him. In I there. don't know though. He ain't got the. I don't know. I think he'd be the Batman. He don't got the. He ain't got no. You know. Elements or nothing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would kind of like if God bless the dead. If Prodigy was here, I kind of put him on the Iron Man joint. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, we already got yeah, hell. Tony Stark's uh, Ghostface Killer. We might have the wrong one. Well, I wanted to make him feel like yeah, he yeah, yeah. Out. You know that's his persona. So you know, shout out to you. You could do a good Iron Man. Yeah, because he gonna be man, yo, 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 crazy <laughs> God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, that's, I'm Iron Man. That's all. Yeah, that's just already me. I'm Tony Stark in this <laughs> you know shit, man. So yeah, that would be dope too. So yeah, but y'all weigh in in the comments. Let us know who y'all think any rapper uh, or what superhero equivalent, whether it be villain, anti-villain, hero, whatever you think that they would be good in. Uh, uh, as far as that goes, man, I don't know, man. That's a, that's a good one, man. I, yeah. Now it's got me thinking about all these different scenarios. You know, I could see somebody like Freddie Fox being the Hulk. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Bobby I can Knuckles. see that. You know, he, he's, a, he's a tough guy, so... But anyway, that's that's our question of the day. So y'all let us know what y'all think, and we'll kind of, uh, you know, chop it up on that. All right, so um, I guess we can jump into some birthdays. Yep, so, yep. Um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of notes, so we're going to uh, go through this website and see what birthdays we got uh, uh, okay. either now or coming up soon, you know. So today we have... Well, not today. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me make sure. Cause we got. Let me just make sure we. Cause they got some more. Yeah. Yes. That's the same site I think I go to. Yeah, we apologize. Cause it, okay, so today we got Paul Wall. Paul oh, Wall, the Grills mm -hmm. man, yeah. the king of the Grills. Happy birthday to him. And we have Cash Doll. Oh yeah, hers today too. Uh, that is uh the fourteenth. Fourteenth. I'm trying to. Happy I should have had all these doll. together, but yeah, we got uh Benny. No, 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 no. We have Young Buck. Okay. Of the, uh, March the 15th. 15th. Happy okay. birthday to him. We also have, uh, I don't know who this is, John Hahn. Oh, yeah, any, I think he's from the there. execution. Not execution, but uh, he's uh, from, uh, uh, what's that group? Uh, damn. You know, crawl there, there. Musk, uh, Lincoln Park. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So gotcha. that's so yeah. I mean, he's still technically hip hop. Let's see what else in, on this page just to make sure. Uh, this is gonna be kind of like out of order. We have my man uh, on St. Patrick Day. My man Sean Price. Sean Pur. Pur. <laughs> I love the way that dude sound, man. That's my dude right there. Yeah. So we might have to do a, a breakdown for him that week. Yeah. Let me see here. Um, to, uh, oh, you already did this. And we have another Andre Nicotina. I don't know who that is. Typically, when I see names like that, I don't know. I don't even mention it. Damn! I ain't gonna lie to you because I mean, no, there's no nobody gonna know who it is. You know, yeah. We don't know. They don't know. Yeah, you know, we we don't know. All right. So uh, somebody. I don't even mention names like that. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure we covering the bases. Covering the bases. Yeah. All right. Oh. 
Oh, you ain't gonna talk about my man Mims. Mims. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, no, we skip that. <laughs> Happy birthday to him anyway. Though. Yeah, that's uh, the twenty first. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we do apologize because normally we have uh, this uh, Vado. Okay. Was, okay. Uh, Happy birthday, Vado. And uh, let's see. Thirteenth. Thirteenth. Cujo. Oh, Cujo Goody. Oh, okay. From um, the um, Goody Mob. Yeah. So there we go. Goody Mob's supposed to be coming here soon. Oh, word. In the next couple of months, I think June or July. Okay. Um, and then we got yeah. Dress. Uh, Dress. Definitely okay. from uh, from uh, what we call it? Black uh, Sheep. Black Sheep. So yeah, that's he's on the eighteenth. Eighteenth. Like. So yeah, happy birthday to him. All right, we're just looking through, just looking through, uh, big boy, big rep. big boys today. The uh, yeah, no, the, that was yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. Uh, so yeah, happy birthday to big boy. Okay, outcast, and we got Domino from uh, Domino from the West. Is he from the West? No, he's yeah. from St. Louis. Okay, uh, well, anyway, I, that's just, I always a, thought he was from the West Coast. Well, he probably had that West, you know. So that's a uh, St. Patty's Day. Yeah, C.J. Mack. You know what I'm saying? Oh, from um, yeah. And uh let's see who else. Cause I I think we skipped some more wait a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, uh yeah, hold on a minute. Okay. We 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 keep we trying to whoop well what we should have done is put it everything in. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, so we we apologize folks. We oh, got that's that. all good, man. Yeah, let's see. That's probably pretty much it for the birthdays anyway, because, you know, I only go about a week out. So yes, you know, really. um, but there is some uh, honorable mentions. Uh, the 13th, we actually had uh, Shy towns Common Sense. Oh, yeah? You oh, know? yeah, that's so right. Common gotta, coming up. So, so that's yeah, what, tomorrow? So, uh, yeah, that will be tomorrow, the okay. 13th. You know, the man that wrote Used to Love Him. Yes, and sir. let's see who else. I thought I did see some other ones. Let's see. Let me make sure. So, yeah, we have Common. We have uh, Danny Brown. Danny uh, Brown. Detroit. Okay, coming uh, up on he, he doing anything? Cause I, I, I know him. Yeah, because Danny Brown's nice. Yeah, I ain't going to yeah. lie. Mm -hmm. I like him. Yeah, um, I haven't heard anything for a while. And then we also have Flav of Flav. Hey, yo, Chuck, man. <laughs> yeah, so, and then Will I Am on the 15th. Will I Am. And What's up, man? Little Dicky. Yeah. And I think that's all the buff birthdays. All right. And if you give Happy me, birthday to all of them. We're going to hit the skibbity the clap. I'm going to hit some clapping buttons. Because my speaker went out. Oh, and we're okay. going to put it back. We're going to put it back on. Yeah, man. So happy birthday to everybody that's on our list. We appreciate you. Just want to, you know, give everybody their flowers. Yep. All of that good stuff. And now let's give them a clap. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're back. Back in the building. Back in the building. Back in the building. All right. So Sorry, now buddy. we can uh, jump into some new music. Yep. Uh, let's see. I hope you can read that. Kind of. Damn. <laughs> so, uh, we got Benny the Butcher. Uh, he got a new joint out uh, called Tanner Talk 4. Uh, it's going pretty hard, man. I heard a couple of songs, and I was like, yo, Benny. it's giving you what you wanted to give. So. Benny. Um, my man Flesh and Bone from Bone Thugs, he got a new album coming out next week on the 18th. It's called To the Bone. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Cypress Hill, I told you all about this album a couple of weeks ago. Uh, their new album, Back in Black, is coming out also on the 18th. So I think that's next Friday. Yeah. Um, and then The Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse. Which came man. out last night. Which came out just last well, night, man. We, man, listen. I ain't going to lie to you. That joint go hard. Yeah. Go hard. Yeah. Know, I, I love it, man. I enjoy it. I think I heard everything of it so far, but I definitely like uh, Backstage. I think Backstage is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, for, yeah. You know, as far as like what I listen to, and but everything that's not to take away from everything else. Everything else is pretty good, I, I, and I did like Vacancy. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's yeah, man. Yeah, Dope I like album. that Almighty joint, man. Oh yeah, yeah, that's my joint too. Um, that and Backstage, I think, are my favorite too. Yeah. But yeah, it, it seems like a well um, executed project. If you really just want some closure with Slaughterhouse. 
I definitely recommend it. And if you just like real good lyricism, I definitely mm-hmm. recommend it. So you can't you can't really go wrong, you know, whether you're just looking for slaughterhouse closure or or just good lyricism and boom bap, you know what I mean? So yeah. the we'll, beats go hard. Yeah, oh facts. I and mean, we'll talk more about it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna we'll come talk. back to that. Yeah. So we got a few uh few topics to run through, you know, nothing too big this week. Um first we want to <laughs> Uh, Juicy Smooth Yay. Unfortunately, he got 150 days in jail. <laughs> we got any sound effects for him? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! Oh, man. <laughs> Juicy Smooth, yeah, man. That dude's a clown, <laughs> yeah. man. A straight clown, man. I mean, he's still ride or die about his joint till he get down. Because, I mean, as they taking him out to court, he's like, uh, uh, what do he say? If anything happens yeah, to me, it's nobody commits suicide. Like, nigga, nobody kill you. Ain't nobody kill you, Ain't nobody kill you. I'm innocent. Nobody even cares, man. They said he's supposed to be in, like, solitary type of confinement where he's sectioned off. I don't know if it's actual solitary, solitary, but he's going to have his own kind of private sector. And then whenever it's time for him to come out to the common area and all of that, and all the other inmates won't be out there. You know, he'll kind of come out on his own. You know what I mean? So nobody will, you know. Well, I don't think, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they, I mean, even if they were to mess with him, I mean, if he didn't they, really do. He didn't. It, it ain't like he messed up a kid, right? It ain't like he did. I mean, you know, he did some faults. I, I don't think they yeah. look. I mean, they ain't gonna probably. Ain't gonna yeah, they him probably. Up. I mean, if anything, they're gonna clown him. You know what I mean? They just yeah. they just want to be able to clown him. You know? Yeah. Oh, yo, like, you, dude, man, tell the truth, man. Yeah, man, man. You, come on, come man. on, man. You get you, you killed somebody, how, how, right? How you set it up, man? How did you set it up? Yeah, man. man. Where you get the news from, bro? Yo, man. <laughs> Where you get Nigerians, right? Yo. From what I understand, wasn't one of them like his boyfriend or something like that? No, nah, I thought no, nah, they were both his cousins. Cousins? Oh. I think so. Yeah, I thought they were his cousins. Okay, I, allegedly. And when it first came out, they said something about there was his trainers. They were just helping him train or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I heard something about his boyfriend was caught up in it. So I was like, was that is that one of them? Maybe Shoot. I don't know. Well, his you know, new but, boyfriend gonna be whoever it is in prison. That's gonna be Tyrone <laughs> with the weights. Man, yeah, listen. <laughs> be talking like, yo, nigga, let's act out a scene in Empire. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I feel, feel really passionate about you, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Feel really passionate. Yes, yeah, this is my boo right here. Right. A light skinned nigga. Let's do, right let's do Empire. I'm gonna play a tough guy, and you gonna mm. play my bitch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, yeah, man, it's it's a clown show with that man. I mean, I wish he would have just admitted it, but I think he just feel like you know at this point he might as well just stick with the lie, I guess, man. man. Stick with the lie. The guns, man. Yeah. But um, so yeah, but he got 150 days in jail, and then a um, bunch of probation. I can't remember how much it was. It was a bunch of years of yeah probation. So you know, so eh. he, he can't be so far from the house. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All that kind of stuff. So yeah, sandwiches. All right. <laughs> I wonder, um, man. I bet his family just embarrassed, man. man embarrassed. Yeah, embarrassed. I would be embarrassed, yeah, man. 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 We don't even know this nigga. So right. We don't even know. But yeah. Shoot. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's just the the funny story today. Uh, we also want to point out my man uh, Ryan Coogler, uh, director of Black Panther and uh, many other. Great movies like Creed, I believe he did Creed, and a few more. But um, he went into a bank, uh, Bank of America, earlier this week and tried to make a large withdrawal, pretty large. And the teller got suspicious and said something in her gut told her something wasn't right about him. So she called the cops, Um, you know, which, you know, in certain situations, I get it. But in this one, I don't uh, because he passed her a note, which, you know, That can either go either way. But once you read the note, it said, you know, I just want to make a withdrawal out of my account for a large amount, whatever it was. I I mean, I know it, but I ain't, you know, that's his business. And he said, you know, whenever you get it out, can you count it somewhere else? Because I just rather be discreet. 
Um, you know, because normally when they get your money out, they just count it right there at the window. You know what I mean? So he like, I don't want to come out with nobody knowing that I got this large amount of money. So can you just count it somewhere else discreet? And so she looked at that and said, oh, he trying to rob us. Hit the button. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, I just thought it was hilarious because I'm like, I get it, but I don't get it. Because if I read the note and it said what it said, he, he actually said the word my account. And he said, withdrawal, you know what I mean? So you are, he already let you know, I got a legitimate account and I just want to take money out of it. I'm not telling you, hey, give me $12,000, you know what I mean? So I can walk the hell up out of yeah, here. Yeah, no, well, that's the thing. Who would rob a bank of $12,000? Right. You, yeah, you if you rob one, yeah, if you rob $1 or 1000 out of a bank, 100000 you still gonna get the same time. It don't exactly. matter what what it exactly. is. Exactly. Cause you robbed the bank. That's a yeah. fail. But I mean, and this and this is the thing too. You know, I, like I said, you get both sides. But it's just like, you know, what I'm saying I I don't blame him for counting. I mean, you know, especially like we said, he was in Atlanta. Shit, people get robbed. You know, like you said. Right. Right. Shit, I get nervous when they come when I be ready to cash a hundred dollars, bank. I'm gonna get them to do something. Yeah, just do it in the back. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is watching. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't watching. So. I mean, cause yeah, he was in Atlanta, so it's like you can't, you can't put it past nobody. I mean, Luda got his car stolen in Atlanta, and he a street dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't care. No. So you know, you coming out the bank, and everybody know you just got a stack of cash. Man, please. My thing is, if it were me, I would have at least checked. Okay, does he have a legitimate account? Cool. If that checks out, does he have enough money in it? Cool. That checks out. You know, check the ID. Who is this that would be asking for this amount of money? You know what I mean? And it's like, come on, man. I mean, just to look at the note and say, I'm scared. I'm calling the cops. I, I couldn't do it. Well, the fact that she could have done her due diligence later, too. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because some people, like, they get away for a little bit, you know, with and then, you know what I'm saying? Like, once the, you know, then they call the police, but yeah, hey, we we just got robbed. You know, it was, you know, this, that, and, you know, they took X amount of money out of, sometimes they report more, and right. they took more because they'll get that money replaced and more back. Mm -hmm. So really, a bank robbery sometimes is good for a bank because they get, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, it ain't, it ain't good for, you know, the over, but what I'm saying is they get more money back, right? Because what of actually taken. what actually taken, yeah, because of you know, because of things. But you know, that's the thing, she could have really just let you know, did what he asked, yeah, let him leave, then call the authorities, verify, like, okay, this guy said he came in and they could have looked it up, and it wouldn't have been no scene, and he would have been about, about his business, yeah, exactly, yeah, so. Yeah, it just, you know, it just, it just, you know, it got to me because, you know, I'm like, if the note is the way they show it, I mean, you can see, you know what I mean? Yeah. He didn't say nothing that would sound suspicious is all I'm saying. Other than passing the note in general, I can see you looking at that kind of funny, like, why are you passing me a note? But then once you read it, I wouldn't have looked at that as funny. I would have just fact checked everything he said. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me see if he really got an let's account see. here. You know, uh, let, let me see, see the name. name. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know, but that's that's just me. Maybe I think a little too different. My my thing of it is, and I'll say this: we'll, you know, if, if we were going to close it, but the thing I think I could take away from it of being a positive, I'm glad that black people was involved and handled it. I'm yeah. glad it wasn't as messy. It didn't turn out to be messy or anything like that. Yeah, that's true. Because, I mean, they did apologize to him, you know, but I feel like they, they I, I feel like they've got, they put themselves in a predicament where they had to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if it, he would just been an average Joe Smo, they would have been like, okay, we did our job. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I think but once they found out who he was, it's like, oh, shit, he going to pull his money out, issue an apology, hurry up. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, you got to so, we need that black panther. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, you know, uh, sir, Mr. Coogler, we just want to apologize. Yeah. Wakanda forever. 
Uh, yo, that, yo, that, yo, 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 it's like yo, so, yo, you look, we fucked up. Right. Bank of America should have came out with the drip. Yo, they should have came out like that. Remember one time them niggas came out there with the kid to cough. Yeah. You know, everybody. Yo, and hey. they in front of them. Yeah, they just like, wanna. Yeah, we just say, wanna say that. Yo, we, to the people. Yeah, we we fucked up. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro, please. Please accept our apology. Please accept our apology. We got the Kenny Club <laughs> Kenny. Yo. So anyway, um, so yeah, I'm glad they kind of cleared it up, but still, I don't know how. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, all you. You know, he let it go, but I wouldn't know. Yeah. You know. So anyway, um, next on the agenda, um, my man Nick Cannon, his uh, daytime talk show has gotten canceled. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I hate it for him. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. The show did make a decent effort, but it wasn't as entertaining as I would have liked it. I I don't think it was. Um, so it didn't really get the numbers. Yeah, I think it was the numbers. Um, I don't know for sure. I didn't read the whole story. I just know officially it's been canceled. And um, I mean, I think he was trying to be different because I did watch the show several times just to try to support and. I think he was just trying to be as different as he could. I don't want to be so stuffy and uh, you know uptight. I just want to have a loose where all the fans are involved type of show and laid back. And I think that it just didn't work for daytime talk. Well, that's the thing. You know there I mean? you go. What you said right, right. there. Daytime. Mm -hmm. See, that's a different audience than people from exactly. prime time. Prime time, he might have been able to get away with, Way with that. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, you could do. You that's what you should have went with the late night show. Like yeah. a Nikki can you know, what's in uh, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy or, Kimmel or yeah. something like that. That would have been nice. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah, Cannon, is yeah, Cannon. Is. Yeah, Cannon show. He still got wilding out, you know, so that's okay. good. You know, I think that's more of his element, but I think he I think he likes, you know, being able to dress up and be a professional environment. So, you know, while and out you get to wear a little street clothes and, you know, just show the street side. But it is what it is, man. I, I feel yeah. bad for him, but you know, Everybody goes through it. Even people like Steve Harvey. He got his show canceled. I mean, he well, was he was doing good. <laughs> well, he was doing a lot of... He kind of did a lot of shit. Like, that was... Like, well... Like capping type of shit? Well, no, 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 no. With the whole... Well, see, NBC got rid of him because of the whole, like... They, he went behind their back. I'm not saying he... I'm not saying that NBC is right or wrong for it. But what I'm saying is NBC went behind... He went behind NBC back. To do something, do some type of deal. That's why they, oh, got, and they got rid of him for that. Got See, rid of I never show. knew. I just, yeah. I just assumed they just didn't think his yeah. show was good enough anymore. Which sucks because yeah. really his talk show was better than that Kelly Carson. Yeah, it like, really was. It yeah, really was. Kelly, like what? And but you know what? They gonna let her run on forever. Oh yeah, because she's safe. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's what they're going to do. So, you know, shout out to Nick. You know, I'm glad he still got Wilding Out. Oh, yeah, he and good. And he's got other stuff, too. Oh, he good. You know, yeah, he sure. got the mask singing. Yeah, the mask yeah, singing. He ain't uh, missing that. He ain't missing that much, bread. I Shit. wonder if he's still doing his podcast thing. I haven't really seen that much. Remember, oh, that's no, where, no. That's where oh, he got into trouble. Oh, candy class, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he nah, he had, to get, he had to stop that. Start that's when they shut him down. And, yeah, they had him apologizing or whatnot. Yeah, they had him apologizing. Which, you know. That's neither here nor there. We ain't gonna say who, you know. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. You know, people, everybody up there telling me like, "Yo, you need to fight for these motherfuckers over here." Right, bro. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah, man. So yeah, it is what it is, man. Um, so yeah, speaking of that, you know.